so my mother uh, got the COVID vaccine shot today, and uh, I thought I would do this video to describe her experience as she told me so that it could uh, help someone else if they're like my mother, who is anxious about everything and uh, loses sleep over it and overthinks it. Now I know where I get my tendencies. Uh, and uh, and uh, just relay her experience. So uh, she, we were trying to get her an appointment for uh, the last month, you know, easily. Uh, put her name on a couple of uh, callback lists. But in the meantime, we were trying to uh, get appointments at the local Giant Eagle and the local Rite Aid. And, and I got close a couple times, but I never was able to land an appointment for her. So, and a couple other independent pharmacies as well. Anyway, she got a call from her um, doctor's office who actually said that they were going to get a supply in supposedly within about two weeks. In the meantime, she got a call back from the local hospital and... Uh, the local hospital um, said, you know, she made an appointment and it was within a week. So she, so she took that appointment, uh, and uh, it was on a uh, Tuesday morning at 10:20 a.m. So they're pretty specific about the time. So we got in the car, we drove her, I drove her down there, and uh, dropped her off uh, at the appropriate building. She had to go up one uh, level. So. Uh, you know, from where, from ground level. Uh, she was met by someone who was in front of the door who actually turns out to be the person you inform if you have a reaction to the shot. And uh, she had to ask directions to get there, but she got there, and uh, she said it was very orderly. She said, uh, you know, she thought there would be a line. There was no line. Uh, people were very well spaced out. Uh, social distancing. Of course, it's a hospital. Uh, everyone was wearing masks. She um, got her shot. They asked her, well, they asked her if she had any allergies, and uh, they asked her if she had taken any other shots in the meantime, like immunizations, for instance, <coughs> the shingles vaccine or something like that, uh, which she said no, and then they gave her the shot, and uh, she said it pinched a little, tiny bit, and then she waited and they had an area, I guess this was all done in a former coffee shop. It really would have been a coffee shop in the hospital. And obviously they're not using that for social st distancing reasons. Uh, so she, they had it set up where <coughs> you could get a bottle of water or a snack, either before, during, or after the process. And uh, they waited for, made her wait for about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, was, she said it was about 10 minutes. Uh, she waited <coughs> to make sure that she wasn't having a reaction. So I dropped her off at 10 for a 1020 appointment. They took her right away. Um, she called me to pick her up at 1030, and then we were back on the road, and that was that. And uh, no ill effects as of yet. And, uh, of course, she read all about the side effects ahead of time. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> for the Moderna, because she was told she was going to get the Moderna vaccine. Turns out she got the Pfizer vaccine. So now she has to read up on that and see what the side effects are for that so she can talk herself into having some psychosomatic effects from that, I guess. Uh, no, yeah, hopefully not. And, uh, and then she has another appointment in exactly 21 days. And then she'll get her second shot. So... Yeah, there was no big crowds. There was no, uh, you know, anything like that that uh, anyone might be anxious about. Uh, it wasn't that way. And uh, she said it's an assembly line. So hopefully when it's my turn, I'll, um, you know, when I'm in the proper class category, uh, it'll be even faster and more efficient. So, all right, I just thought I'd put that out there. If this helped anybody, you know, please tell me. And if you have any questions... I'll ask her, and I'll try to get them answered for you. And uh, thumbs up would be great. And, uh, subscriptions are already nice, too. So um, have a great day. I hope you are, aren't too anxious about this. And uh, i am actually got a little uh, FOMO now, uh, vaccine FOMO. Really jealous. I don't want my vaccine. But uh, 
I'm very happy my mother's got hers. That's the big load off my mind. Uh, a lot of anxiety levels lowered. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Let's see if you can do something nice for somebody out there and try not to get caught doing it. Talk to you folks later.